Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and today we are making a quilt block called the Hourglass Variation. I found this quilt block in an old book of vintage quilts. It's actually a book that gives identification and prices for old quilts, but I really like this book just for the inspiration. Here's the quilt that I want to share today using this really sweet quilt block. This quilter used a lot of stripes and that's what I'm going to attempt to do as well. I used two squares, five and a half inches of red and the background cream for each of my half square triangles. I have this, these pieces that are two and a half by five and then one two and a half inch square. First thing I'm going to do is I'll make my half square triangles. After drawing a line from corner to corner, I will sew on either side of my line. I'll cut along that pencil line and I'll have four half square triangles. I will trim them to five inches. Once I had my half square triangles made and trimmed to five inches, I just needed to put all my pieces together, that center two and a half inch square, and then those strips that are two and a half by five, I'll sew it all together and my block will be complete. I really liked the pink sashing in this book. I was hoping to find some pink in my stash and when I added pink to some of the blocks that I have made, it didn't look quite right. So you'll see at the end of the video how I arranged my blocks and the sashing is sort of a light stripe 
that I thought went fine with it, but I didn't have any pink, so I'm using what I have, and I still think it's pretty, but of course a little disappointment that I didn't have some pinks. Here's a little picture of my quilt in progress. My sashing pieces are three and a half by eleven and a half, and the cornerstones are three and a half inches. Here are my blocks so far. I really like the way they're coming out. I'm trying to use a variety of plaids and stripes and this quilt will be a fun one. These blocks are 11 and a half inches and I hope I inspired you to use your scraps, use your stash and make a quilt. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next time.